And your brain is the most powerful weapon. I talk about that in one of these chapters. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, that's yeah, great. We're up to date. We, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, when you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to. You may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. It's over. And all that you learned from your own brain. You yes. didn't Google this shit. No. You didn't buy books. It didn't exist. This shit didn't exist. I couldn't even fucking spell Google back then. This shit didn't exist, man. What, what existed for me was, okay, man, how am I going to fucking make this work? And, I, and all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished. That's all I heard back in those days. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. I'm not getting how to... I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the fuck's in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I got to write out every fucking thing I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back until the shit just becomes, your mind will say, fuck, oh, okay, we're gonna figure it out. It'll find a way. Because he is not going to stop. It's not like, I'm gonna try one more time. No, I'm gonna, it's just like, alarm clock goes off, boop, we're going back. I can't read right, we're going back. I gave myself no way out and my mind realized that. They said, okay, we're gonna adapt and overcome now. So you have to teach your mind this is the new normal this and you better get with the fucking program that's right and as soon as it realizes that that you're serious you're serious then it adapts i'm not playing a game right but if it thinks you're playing a game it knows it, and knows. it won't adapt it, it like a lot of people say like when i say trying hard they your mind knows man it knows this guy's bullshitting me man this guy's lying there's no truth behind it when i was in navy still training people go how are you there for 18 months the program is only six months long you were in three hell weeks in one year no one's ever done that. How did you do that? I talk about the new norm. When I lived in a seven dollar a month place and I was growing up for a short period of time, I loved it. I didn't know any, I, I didn't know any different. That was my norm. Once we moved out of that place, we moved to a two hundred and thirty six dollar a month place. I was like, shit, I never want to go back to that little piece of shit. But if you go back to that seven dollar a month place and you realize this is where I live, this is all I got. Your mind says, Roger that, this is home. So when I was going to Navy SEAL training for 18 months and going back to all the hard parts over and over again, I told myself after the first time, I knew it was gonna be a long journey there. My body was breaking down. It was, it was just how it was going on. I said, you know what, this is my new norm. So my mind said, it's like going to work. Like you go to work, you put your suit and tie on, I go into suffering every day. Every day suffering, being broken, duct taping my feet up stress fractures, shin splints, being broken. This is my new norm. And your mind says, if we're not broken, this ain't normal. We gotta be broken. So then your mind starts to get tougher and tougher and more callous. People, how, how'd you run on broken feet? Broken broken shins. My mind knew this is how we operate. We're in, we're in Navy SEAL training. This is what we are. I became hell. And that became my new norm. I gave myself no way out. There was nothing outside these walls of hell. Nothing. I became, I love God, but for a short period of time, I became the devil because that was hell.